Hello, this is Pavel from Runquiz and today video, in today's video we'll go on through this simple process of setting up new site in SiteWiz and I will show how with the new functionality we just added with a new feature we are all getting one step closer to the uh, streamlining the process uh, making it faster the process of setting up uh, a PBN blog that's why I call it one minute PBN so if I summarize the uh, steps required to set up a new uh, PBN blog, um, I would have it a main. Uh, it could be a new domain name. Uh, it could be, uh, but unlikely, probably will uh, find the expired domain with the good metrics and register it. Then I'll create a site. Then I'll deploy a site on hosting and update a registrar. After waiting a bit, our site is online at that moment so we done with the preparation step and this uh this three steps sideways does extremely well so extremely fast and efficient um you've seen um ads all over of creating a pbn and people are charging uh 30 uh 50 100 150 dollars per pbn site to be created and considering all the uh, quote-unquote um, uh, knowledge you need to know to set it up properly sideways take all of this off uh, complexity off so just go and click um, step by step you can create a new site in literally like 30 seconds well except waiting for deployment and then once you have site online so we post content uh the block is ready so then we can repeat and go to the next block so if we'll go through the process right in the system so i'm i'm in my account and um let have i have a test network there are no sites in here i'm gonna create my first site in this network i click i go to the sites tab click on add site and let's say it's going to be a back pane blog so I'll give it a title tagline so I have an option of um, selecting a theme and I can create and pre-populate the data with the contact as terms of service and privacy policy pages click save that's exactly 30 seconds I need to create a new blog new site in sideways I'll go to preview it so it's empty blog so we have few pages um, Now to go to the next step, I go to hosting, select uh, the domain, I assume in domain also reg registered, and I can click deploy and uh, then I will have the hosting information here. That uh, will complete first three steps and we will have site online. And this is where the, uh, the, the the last step, posting content, is this is uh, what we're gonna uh, approach, uh, address with the new feature we added. If I look through the typical PBN, it's all completed up to this stage. Uh, at the best, there is one single article. If you look at the any PBN courses or any teachings, uh, uh, this is where they all ended. Uh, because they spend too much time on just going through the uh, uh, magic of uh, searching expired domain or uh, registering it. So basically the predictable steps. Then we go into the uh, one once it's going to the content, it just uh, literally um, five minutes advice of either creating it manually, order it from few sites uh, spin the content post three articles so basically everyone's assumed that it's not a big deal um, in fact the content relevant content is most important part uh, after the domain metrics is most important part that makes you PBN useful or useless but because uh, at this moment 
you have to click on the posts and update the content you need to order so usually uh, we all rush on in up to this step because it's fast and we'll decide and decide so that one day we'll post the content we need to order it we need to go post so it's not as simple not any longer once we have our site you can go to posts and click post content and you can see that there are uh, dozens of uh, predefined content topics if i'll go to health i'll have exactly back pain if you don't have exactly what you're looking for you might find something closer to uh, to your topic to your relevant uh the to, to your niche you can specify how many posts you want and submit So we send a request to populate our site with the content. The first article is ready. Let's preview it. Yep, this is a back pain article. Um, 500, uh, 700 uh, words, relevant content titles image if I go back now I'll have all five compare the site I showed you a minute ago with this one and you'll see why it creates difference and so on so now we have five articles. Of course, you can post more based on your content. And uh, if at the moment we deploy a site, it will be already populated with the content. It will be ready to be crawled and ready to be indexed. So to, um, to go through the same experience once again, so I'll add a site. Let's say it will be home business. So I'll select the theme the same way create pages go to posts click on post content and see if there are a topic that's closely relevant to my niche and again so it's not the not the handwriting content you might be thinking one day posting your site but it is hundredfold better to deploy your site with the content let it indexed and aged uh, rather than post an empty page and wait until you're ready with your content and then be surprised if um, uh, Google will not like the site much as you expected so we have home business so we're going to post another five articles I'm not even pausing the video Maybe I should pause the video. And here is the first article. On uh, home business. You can see that you can tell that all five are ready. And ready to be deployed and hosting. So going back to those steps, so not only we now streamline the, now we streamline the process. Uh, once you have your uh, domains, domain names registered, it literally take you a minute to create fully functional um, PBN site with uh, and populate it with the content and deploy it in the hosting. So once again, you will find this uh, populate content post content button on the site posts post content and you select the relevant content based on the uh, closest to your niche. 
that's all thank you for watching and thank you for using sideways